In this video, we're gonna learn about tacrolimus in just two minutes. Tacrolimus is an immunosuppressant drug. Before we see how tacrolimus acts, let me tell you a small story of a small guy who comes to a city for the first time. Okay, I'm not telling you if he's a good guy or a bad guy. We just see it as we move on. First, a resident of that city comes into contact with this guy and he thinks that this guy is a bad guy. Okay, so he's not sure just by the looks. He thinks that that guy is a bad person and he tells his friends about this guy. Okay, so these people who come into contact with this uh, guy for the first time are actually the macrophages or antigen presenting cells. Okay, so they come into contact with this uh, antigen, foreign antigen for the first time. And what happens after that is that uh, uh, they have certain things on them which are called as major histocompatibility complex 2 or MSC2. So these antigen presenting cells or macrophages will take this new guy to some elderly people in the country and they're gonna tell about this person, this new person to those elderly person. Here, this elderly person is CD4 helper T cell who's gonna know what to do exactly after this situation, after this point in the situation. And what the CD4 helper T cell is gonna do is that he's gonna go and tell a policeman about this particular guy who has, uh, who has come uh, into their city, okay? So this policeman who's gonna take charge is the, or the cytotoxic T lymphocytes, okay? So as you can see here, the one who's holding the gun right here is the cytotoxic T lymphocytes. And what he's gonna do is that he's just gonna go and kill all the foreign guys who has come, okay? Not just the one guy, uh, he's gonna kill all the people who look similar to that guy, okay? So by doing so, he kills those cells, that is cell lysis. So this is the mechanism of uh, what's gonna happen, okay? So in the beginning of the story, I told you, I'm not gonna tell you if this guy is a good guy or a bad guy. Let us consider if he was actually a bad guy. In that case, it is actually good because we just killed a, uh, a group of bad people but what if this foreign guy is actually a good person and we actually kill a group of good people that is actually bad. That is what is happening in the case of transplanted organs. We're gonna transplant, transplant uh, organs for people who actually need it like in the case of liver transplantation or lung transplantation or kidney transplantation. What's happening is that the whole story which I've told you from the beginning will happen in the sequence, in the same sequence and the cytotoxic lymphocytes and finally kill the cells present in the transplanted organ leading to graft rejection. So to prevent this, we have uh, some superhero drugs, which are called as immunosuppressant drugs. One among the drug, uh, immunosuppressant drug is the tacrolim is tacrolimus, okay? So let us see how tacrolimus acts. If you remember this particular step, where CD4, where the uh, macrophages or the antigen presenting cells presented the foreign guy to an elderly person, which is the CD4 uh, T helper cells, uh, CD4 helper T cells, and the next step after that is that the CD4 helper T cells went and told uh, the policeman that the CD4 helper T cells activated the cytotoxic T lymphocytes. Uh, these were the two steps uh, which happened uh, in the uh, in the story which I have told you. So here, tacrolimus is gonna come here and it's gonna stop. Uh, it's gonna inhibit uh, the activation of the CD4 helper T cells. Okay. So by inhibiting the CD4 helper T cells, it prevents the activation of cytotoxic T lymphocytes. Okay, so there's a molecule called calcineurin inside this uh, inside this CD4 helper T cells, and the tacrolimus is gonna inhibit this calcineurin. Okay, so by so here you're gonna remember that tacrolimus is a calcineurin inhibitor. It can be taken orally or intravenously. It is metabolized by liver and excreted in bile. The uses are uh, following organ transplantation, one of the most preferred drugs is actually cyclosporin. But if cyclosporin is found to be ineffective, uh, we can actually give trans, uh, the tacrolimus to those patients. Tacrolimus is also very effective in cases of acute graft rejection where rejection has started taking place. Even in those cases, tacrolimus is very effective. It can be used in certain severe cases of Crohn's disease and it can be applied topically in cases of atopic dermatitis. Adverse, adverse effects are, it can be um, it can damage the uh, kidneys, can, it has neurotoxicity, can cause loss of hair, can cause diarrhea, can cause gum hyperplasia, hirsutism which is abnormal development of male pattern hair in females and hyperuricemia which is elevated uric acid levels in the blood. Subscribe to 2 Minute Doc right now and press the bell icon next to it to learn about various drugs and diseases in just 2 minutes. Hurry up! Also, check out our main channel Medbeats Made Simple where we have over 10,000 subscribers.
There you can watch videos in all subjects of med school for free. So make sure you subscribe to 2 minute doc and med which made simple for your own benefit. You can watch more videos by clicking on any of these boxes right here. I'll see you there.